Hello everyone, Chris and Christina here with Wondershare Film Stocks and we are here to help you make better videos and empower your inner video creator. So there is one thing that a lot of people forget to use when creating their videos and that is title screens and they can be used to just really tie your whole video together and make a bit more sense of whatever it is that you're talking about or whatever the subject of your video is. In other words, you can use title screens in your video just to give the entire video a bit of structure. And lucky for you, Filmstocks has two perfect title packs that can help you add colourful titles to your videos. That sounded weird. Colourful titles. Colourful. Colourful titles. In this video, we're going to show you some of the best ways that you can use these titles or intro screens in your videos. We're going to use some titles from the Gradient Titles Pack and the Gradient Waves Pack in case you don't already know, the word gradient means just like a mix or a blend of colours. So you know that these titles will be very colourful. To get these two packs, all you have to do is download them from the Filmstocks website. There will also be a link in the description too so that you can just go straight there and download them straight away. Remember that they are just titles, so when you're in your Filmora video editor, you'll find them all within the title section. So let's start with the Gradient Waves pack. All of the titles in this pack can be used for intro screens or openers. So let's take a look at a few different ways that you might want to use them. So obviously when you think intro screens, you think introductions, right? You're trying to introduce your audience to something. So maybe it's the start of your video and you want to show the video title. Maybe you want to introduce your channel name or your company name. You can easily use one of these title screens to do that. All you have to do is change the text to whatever you want. So you don't always have to use these titles at the start of your video, you can use them throughout a video to tie it all together. So for example, if you're doing a travel video or a vlog of some sort, you could separate your days with title screens. So day one, maybe the location, day two, just to let the viewers know where you are. Or Monday, Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, if you want to do it that way. Or you could also do it, for example, in a tutorial type video. Yeah. You could have the tip on screen. So tip one is, I don't know, whatever you want it to be. Tip two is this, tip three is this. And it just lets the viewer know that this is what you're talking about next. It really helps your video to flow. Even if you're talking about different things each time, you can tie them all together using these title screens. So it just helps that flow with your video. It also helps to split up long periods of talking in a video as well, because we all know that can get a little bit boring. So now let's take a look at the gradient title pack and a few different ways that you can use them in your videos. So probably one of the most popular ways to use a title like this is to display a location. So if for example you're creating a travel video and you're moving to a few different locations, you can use these titles to display the location that you're currently in and this allows the viewer then to know exactly where you are. So kind of similar to that, you could also use it for a time and date stamp just to keep the viewers up to date with, up to date. Just keep them in the loop of what's going on if your video requires something like that. Name tags are another very popular way to use titles like this. If you're interviewing somebody, for example, a little name tag, lower third title on the screen. Again, to let the viewers know who this person is, what they do and whatever else. You could also use them to display names of products. So maybe you're a review channel that makes review videos on certain products. You could pop the little product names up on screen or even like a beauty channel who does like makeup tutorials. You can pop on screen the products that you're using as you make your video. You can even go one step further and pop the steps on screen of your beauty tutorial. So go through each step and pop up exactly what you're doing so the audience can read it as well as see it. And the same thing with maybe like a cooking video if you're popping the steps on screen as to what you're doing at the time. Makes it a lot easier to flow and flow and I had another word in my head now it's gone. Flow. Just flow. So as you've seen it doesn't really matter what type of video you make 
you can always find a use for titles like this. Try these packs out for yourselves. You will need to download them from the Filmstocks website. And obviously you will also need Filmora 10. The link will be in the description for you to get that as well. So go ahead and try these out for yourself. Keep creating and we will see you in the next one. And that's my line. <laughs> that's my line. <laughs> You're tired.